Okay guys, now we go to part 2. So in this section, we will be downloading our Red Hat Enterprise 9. So this is the location. So we click on this one. Okay, so we'll download the latest version, which is version 9. Okay, so I have download this. I have already downloaded this one. I'll, I'll send you the link later. So our um, next step is to use VMware Workstation to install it. So let's do it. So we click on File, New Virtual Machine, select Typical, go Next. So go to Browse. So this is the ISO file that we downloaded earlier. So it's 8 gig. So we select open. Okay. So notice that Red Hat 9 has been detected. So it's going to use uh, a much faster installation, which is good for us, especially for beginners. We go next. So full thing. Um, Red Hat 9. Username. Okay, so username, we'll just put in admin. Password would be this one. We go next. So we need to have those written down for documentation. So the path would be the default location. Let's just call it red nine. We go next. For the size, let's keep it small. Let's say 50 gig. We go next. Edit some bit of information. We increase the RAM to eight gig to make it faster. So everything would be set at default. We can click on finish. And we wait. So let it power up. Let's close that one. Increase this one. And wait for it to install. Okay, so at this point, I will be pausing the video for, you know, to save us time. So right now, it's still booting up, loading all the needed libraries. So we're going to pause it again. Okay. So now we go to the GUI part. We select English. Go next. Okay. So at this part, uh, you need to configure three things. Okay. So you need to do the, the disk the root and the user okay so let's begin with the disk first so for the disk we just select that one double click it do not forget to double click that one so you click on done so we're okay with that select the root now this is very important you have to allow ssh access it will save us a lot of pain later on okay for the password Type our usual password. Okay. So click on done. We'll create the user later. So we select begin installation. Okay, it takes an average of around 10 minutes for this to completely finish. So we just pause the video and wait for the results later, okay? So notice that we are nearing the installation by this progress bar, okay? So wait a little bit more. Okay, after everything has been done, you need to reboot the system.
Okay, so after the system has rebooted, you would see the Red Hat Enterprise 9 setup. So we click Start Setup. Okay, just select the default. Skip this part because we do not want this part. So um, for this one, you'd select Enterprise Login because we are going to use or let's just select skip this one nope nope uh yeah domain not really so for this okay i may have made a mistake so you can just click any account you have or your gmail perhaps okay okay so we're back here just put your name Next, password, our usual password. Next, then start using it. So, after using it, after logging in, so... Yeah, there's a tour, so you just ignore that one. This needs to be done, the registering the system. Now, in order to accomplish that, make sure that this is connected to NAT, okay? So in, in my case, this is bridge, so I'll make sure that this is... I'm sorry. Um, we make sure that this is connected to NAT, which, is it, which it is. So press OK, go to command line, just try to ping redhat.com. Or just make sure it's connected to the internet, which it is connected. So we check the IP address, which is IP ADDR. Okay, so we're now at registering the system. So we type IPADDR, get the IP address. So my IP address would be this one. So after which we need to run PuTTY, okay? So this is PuTTY. Type the IP address of 192.168.108.129. Okay? We click accept so it's asking to be logged in so type in your username let's say Robert this one this one and the password so we are now officially connected okay so that's it Okay, guys, so the final part of our laboratory is we need to register this account using this subscription, this one. We need to connect this to your installation. In order to do that, we have a convenient command called subscription manager register so when you do that it will ask for the username password of your account so we put it here so password okay just have to register first okay so it's asking for the username which is in our case Cisco big buyer and your password which is this one now sometimes sometimes this would have an error it happened to me several times so you just have to try it again so as you can see right now it's trying to register using our red hat account 
which is this two. Okay. Now the, uh, this is very critical because when you have a registered system, you have access to all libraries and help. So as you can see, the system is now registered. Now if you go here, it says registered over here on top. Now, what's the advantage? You can use all the resources of Red Hat, okay? So for part three, we will be start learning our lab step-by-step. Step. Thank you.